You just sent me an email and I never even saw it. Why? Because it was in my spam folder. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith. Over the last eight years, I've worked with over 6,000 people with their automation and their marketing needs. Now we all know we should be sending emails and maybe you already are sending emails, but what's the point in sending emails if no one ever opens it and reads it? And that's what I wanna help you with today. I'm gonna share three simple tips to teach you how to make sure your first email hits the inbox and that you stay in the inbox to increase sales. And if you stick with me to the end, I'm gonna give you my seven automated emails that you can copy and paste into your business. All right, so tip number one is what that very first email should be. That is your most important email. And the goal of emails is to build a better relationship, not to sell yourself. So the mistakes I see are most businesses add their logo, they add colors, they add links, and they send it like a newsletter email. What's going to happen with that first email, just like I said at the beginning of this video, is it's going to go to the spam or promotion folders. Why? Because email providers like Gmail and Outlook, and if you're still using Yahoo, they're looking at the HTML code behind that email. They're not looking at the front part that you're spending an hour to two hours designing. They're looking at all that code in the back. And when you start adding images and links, that adds multiple lines of code. So your first email should be plain text. Go to your Gmail or your Outlook, type me an email, make it super simple. Don't add any links, zero images, and zero colors. Now you can copy and paste that into your email marketing software. We recommend using MailerLite. They make it easy to send plain text emails. You can find my affiliate link below. Now that first email needs to be asking a question, not selling yourself. Why? Because now that you're sending it as a plain text email, super easy to read, no coding, you're gonna hit the inbox, your potential lead or customer is gonna open that. We want them to reply because if you're asking them to click on a link, go to your website, do this and do that and telling them all about yourself, they don't care about you, they care about themselves. So you need to ask a specific question to get them to engage and reply back. Because if they reply back, you're gonna stay in their inbox for at least the next three emails, which is the point of sending emails. So the goal is make it relevant, ask them a question about what your business offers, what they're looking for, how you can help them, make it relevant to them, right? To encourage that reply back. As an example, my plain text email is, are you sending automated emails? And they'll say yes or no. Now I'm gonna stay in the inbox for three to four more emails. Bonus tip, before we get to tip number two, you can use a software called Zapier. Set up an automated reply. You can also hire me to do this for you. So if they reply back to that first email, what I do is I wait 15 minutes so it looks real and then Zapier sends them another reply so I don't have to personally reply asking them to follow me on social media. And that's where tip number two comes in, is your second email. That second email should be asking them to follow you where you're most active online. I highly recommend YouTube channel. If you're active on YouTube and posting videos weekly or monthly, send them there. That's gonna help build a better relationship, which is the key in sending emails, is how can we build better relationships with that visitor to turn them into a lead, to turn them into a customer. All right, so email two is, hey, if you're not active on YouTube, totally fine. Where are you the most active? It's like retargeting ads without having to pay for the ads. They became a visitor, they became a lead, they replied to your email, now they're gonna follow you on social media, now they're gonna see you posting consistently, you better be posting consistently, now they're gonna keep remembering you, and that's how you're gonna build that relationship and get them to buy later on. Email three should be education, with a call to action. So a lot of times you send an email, schedule a call with me, go buy this, go buy that, go do this. It's not providing any value to them. You're stopping the relationship building. So email three, and I would recommend sending it two days later after the first two emails is, hey, I filmed this great video helping you do this. I have this blog helping you do this. I have this resource helping you do this. So providing extra value, for building a better relationship, getting them to go somewhere. Now on that page where you're giving them more value and education and you're the expert helping them, that's where you can have the call to action afterwards. As an example, my third email, 
I filmed a video explaining how to automate your marketing. And by the way, after you watch the video, you can schedule a paid consulting call with me. Now I'm getting the customer value while also giving that call to action that's relevant without having to be salesy in my emails. All right, so last thing I wanted to share with you is you always wanna be thinking about how can I build better relationships with my customers after they become a lead? And that's where most of you already have your website. Maybe you have a landing page. Maybe you have email marketing. But the follow-up is the key. After they become a lead, get on your email list. You want to follow up with emails, social media, and ads. That's when you can increase conversions by 15 to 30%. So I've included a link to our Grow Game Plan down below. And that's where I share the seven automated emails you can copy and paste into your business. So I'd love for you to join me, aka my newsletter, The Grow Game Plan, where every week I give you another video like this with the exact tips that you can use to grow online. Thanks again for watching the video and I will see you on the next one.